I don't care who you are, where you farm, you can't do it without water. The good Lord God bless you with water. James Marshall has been farming in the panhandle of Florida since he was a child, first alongside his father in Jay, Florida, then on his own in Okaloosa County, before settling with his wife, Helen, in Baker, Florida in 1978. Baker's a small community. I like that about it. And you just, you know everybody you see, and that means a lot. Today, James and his son, Nick, operate Marshall Farms, a 2,600-acre family farm in Okaloosa County, growing peanuts and cotton. Because the farm is managed by just James and Nick, efficiency is extremely important. The father and son own one of the most advanced agricultural operations in Northwest Florida. They embrace technology, and are quick to implement practices on their farm that will increase efficiency while remaining environmentally conscious. At the rate that we're growing, especially here in Florida, you know, to be uh, conscientious of conservation practices and things of that nature and to support them, you know, in a big way is very important. And of course, you know, Marshall Farms has been, been an important ingredient in that in our, in our community, in our counties and surrounding counties. I walk a lot of farms and, and uh, they're all unique and I, I'd say to characterize Marshall Farms you gotta you gotta say they're very progressive probably one of, one of the most progressive farms that that I work with well I've been working with James and Nick for the past three years with the Florida Department of Ag Best Management Practices Program. And they were one of the first farms in Okaloosa County to enroll in the program. The reason we're doing the BMPs is for water quality and water quantity if you're irrigating. So they have both on the farm. We're trying to reduce the amount of nutrients and sediment leaving the farm for water quality. And if we can uh, reduce the amount of irrigations we have to put out each year, that's water quantity for the whole state. One example of a water-saving BMP was to have the Mobile Irrigation Lab Service install low-flow nozzles on their center pivot irrigation systems. The farm also plants cover crops and employs strip tilling to improve soil health, reduce erosion, and increase water quality. Other BMPs include using GPS grid sampling and variable rate technologies to precisely apply nutrients. Utilizing the John Deere Exact Apply Sprayer, for example, the marshals apply up to 10% less pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides while eliminating drift over to neighboring crops or properties. Grid sampling, for instance, where, where you're taking a, uh, a soil sample across the grid uh, and then you use variable rate fertility. So you're not applying fertilized and, and uh, crop protection materials where they don't need to be. You direct it to the areas where uh, the soil sample calls for it. So, so uh, that's extremely environmentally friendly. I take great pride in seeing uh, them take advantage of all the programs and the new innovations to, you know, protect the environment. You know, we have Blackwater State Forest around us and Blackwater River. And we have to look out after that because we don't want runoffs getting in the creeks. The Blackwater is one of the cleanest rivers in the United States. So, you know, we take pride on that farm less than a mile from it in places. So, you know, if it's been labeled as one of the cleanest rivers in the country, we're obviously doing a pretty good job of keeping our stuff out of it. Over the years, both James and Nick have been involved in growing programs to test new varieties of peanuts and cotton in order to produce a more sustainable product and move the industry forward. We've got a program inside our Delta Pine brand uh, called the uh, NPE program, the New Product Evaluator. And uh, James and Nick, Marshall Farms have been a part of that since, since we started in 09, so they're in their 10th year. 
We take varieties that, that our breeders think that might fit farms across the cotton belt and we put it with, with our top growers. There's 200 farmers in the United States that does it. And myself and Nick is the only ones in the state of Florida, I believe, that does it. They've been really, really uh, great partners for, for us in the, in the past. A lot of the leading varieties that we've been selling for the last 10 years have started on this farm. And uh, we're, we're proud of the, of the marshals for, for what they've done for us. While the marshals are committed to using the best available technology to produce higher quality yields, they have been known to enjoy the fruits of their labor the old-fashioned way. Not far from Marshall Farms sits an old roadside stand. During the growing season, it's not uncommon to find the marshals stopping by for a bag of fresh boiled peanuts that had been grown on their farm. For the marshals, the message that sustainable agriculture and environmental stewardship go hand in hand is one that starts at home. And that message is shared with the next generation of marshals already helping out on the farm. I like to come out here and have fun with my grandpa and my dad. And I think it's really fun just to be out here. You know, my passion is farming. It's, it's, it's not building houses. It's not selling land for that. It's in me and that, that's where I want it to stay.